All right. So uh, this is going to be a Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and as well uh, Leo Rising. Weekly general tarot reading February 24th to uh, March 1st, 2020. And in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below. And uh, there you're going to find a link to my website. And as soon as you uh, make a purchase of your choice from the services I'm providing, I'm going to follow you up with an email within the next 24 hours of how the reading is going to take place, depending on the service you have chosen. So that set aside, the first card here, which stands as the topic of your week, Leo, is going to be at the Four of Pentacles. Followed by the next one here, which stands as the energies which are feeding uh, the topic around. That is going to be the hangman. Next one, it is uh, the difficulties or the challenges that you will need to overcome throughout the week. We have the Queen of Wands. Followed by the fourth one, which represents the gifts and the blessings that you can and should enjoy throughout the week. That is to be the Five of Pentacles. Next one, it is uh, what kind of a standpoint you are going to show in front of people, what, how people are going to take on you, what kind of impression you're going to leave there. Uh, that is to be the six of wands. And the last one here, which is uh, the guidance that Saru is offering to you guys, we have the uh, Knight of Cups. Okay, so it's, uh, it's a stationary week, but with... Uh, how can I say it? By no means a, an unimportant one, according to those cards. Why stationary week? Because uh, this week, Leo, instead of you striving for like conquest, okay, this week it is where you consolidate your current conquest. We do have these two cards. Now, the energies at that point are um, going to make you realize that Moving forward without securing your current progress, it is going to be either futile or is going to be a necessary sacrifice, meaning you sacrifice what you have achieved until now for to achieve something new and therefore no one wins or at least you are not winning, you're just, you know, wasting things to kind of like accomplish one thing and destroy another. It's just, it's, it's completely pointless. So with those energies here, uh, instead of kind of like bursting, no, not like bursting with enthusiasm, but say, you know, instead of being uh, relentless and uh, restless as well for new tasks, new responsibilities, you know, new enterprises in relationship, in career and etc, etc. You are to take your moment for what it seems throughout the week, you know, to identify the cracks, the leaks or the gaps into your current domain. And under domain, I mean relationship, or in other words, you're going to take your time to identify what can go wrong into your relationship and what kind of measures you can take in order to prevent that. So it's like taking a defensive measures, consolidating and securing your current uh, your current domain or kind of like a uh, your current estate. OK, so you can ensure its secured future. So because this is what the topic of the week is all about here, the four of pentacles. And therefore, you can expect throughout the week to accomplish it pretty great stuff. I mean, to secure your position into your career. Uh, just to give you an example, because I just uh, had a, a client a few hours ago that was concerned is uh, my client's um, trail period into uh, their work is going to be transformed into a, a permanent contract well for you this uh, this reading here if that's your case this reading here shows that it's going to be right i mean you are consolidating and secure ensuring your secure future moving forward same thing goes in terms of relationship very very good cards here to secure a relationship say you are dating with someone not yet exactly into relationship however with those cards you can definitely end up in one but with the four of pentacles a lot needs to be promised i mean you've got to show what you what you can offer here that you can offer that is a, a secure future into uh to to that person that you want to make a relationship with for example or to the job that you're working in etc etc because constantly going for new things it kind of with those cards is going to leave a an impression 
that you are uh, irresponsible, that you are unreliable as well? How, how can someone can entrust you if you are jumping from one thing into another I, and you constantly seek, uh, once again, a, um, a con conquest and new things? Uh, new things to conquer. Now, important thing to be acknowledged here for you guys throughout the week it is uh, again coming from the energies of the hangman. And hangman is simultaneously, especially as an energy wise, is simultaneously a, a breakthrough and a test. Why it is a breakthrough in your case? Because you get to reach checkpoints, okay? Once you consolidate those things, unless you decide so, nothing can take them away from you, okay? And it is a breakthrough. And it is a test, excuse me, it is because it urges you to look within rather than to look outside for a once again new conquest, okay? So that's uh, kind of like leads us to the next one here, which uh, stands as uh, the challenges that you will have to overcome. And we do have a person who knows how to push your buttons. And that person is going to be rather displeased with, uh, with your new found standpoint, if you will, that you want to take your time and just work over or work out your current things here without actually going for a something else. Now, for this person, you are just a tool. This is uh, very common with the Queen of Wands, that these people, they usually have a very strong and acute business sense and they also have a vast understanding into the human nature from a standpoint where they know what how to tempt you all right they know what to say so to make you their ally or so to make you do their work for them and that will be challenging here with the queen of wands to resist that temptation okay to just kind of like say no to this one um, as they will try to push you into direction not necessarily with intentions you know to kind of like jeopardize your current benefits or you know your mm, how can I say the security of your current domain, but it is because this is what serves this person a, uh, a serves a purpose to that person or kind of like, uh, wow, I forgot the word. It just jump out of my mind. Mm. Well, it's, um, it kind of likes do their job. I don't know how to say it. Anyway, so um, the Queen of Wands as well, they are very jealous and under jealous, I mean that they cannot stand if they're not the center of the company or the center of the universe or the center of the social circle and etc etc and as they see that you are no longer kind of finding them the most important thing in the world for for you for them that is a big shock and they just don't understand why okay they, they don't understand how they cannot be the most important thing that is going on around for everybody not just for you all right but for everybody around and as you are showing that your thing that right now it is more important than they or than their goals than their agenda and etc etc you can expect this one to become a little bit more aggressive okay it's kind of like to try to bite you with rather rude uh, and cruel words and you have to once again be able to resist that uh next one here it is uh, the um gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week and we do have the gifts and the blessings of the five of pentacles so for once uh, the five of pentacles points as a gift and blessing that you are not alone in what you are to do so there is someone else who is going to benefit for the consolidation of your domain it could be your for example wife it could be your husband, your partner in business or in relationship as well, friends, family, etc., etc. And from these people, you're get you're gonna get all the help in the world. Additionally to that, uh, the Five of Pentacles as a gift and blessing here shows that you are going to do an exceptional work, or it is given to you the blessing to tackle with every problem that comes around doesn't matter how many those problems are okay you're just not going to feel the pressure of them and it's just um, you are to resolve those problems like they are nothing like they are just trifles like they are a piece of cake and uh, that is going to make your week very calm very peaceful as well and uh, uh, how can i say it and as well is going to allow you to have a lot of time once again once again to secure 
uh, to ensure your secured future because this is what the week is all about here okay to establish position to establish domain uh, the next one uh, that we do have for you guys it is the six of wands and this is how people are gonna look at you uh, what kind of impression you're gonna leave into people and <laughs> I don't want to say the word because probably I'm going to be uh, demonetized, but it's it's like people are going to look at you and they will say, damn, how lucky this one is. It, it is to have all these things around. OK, and it's again, it's a prerequisite for a jealousy here that we do have. So people are going to see you very successful. That That's the thing here. But also what they're going to be jealous of is what kind of potential you can unfold after you you ensure your secure future you know after you consolidate your domain after you get the job done and uh, you can expect at that point to see uh, i don't know how to say it in english you know but this kind of like a it's not even fake generosity but more like a fake politeness it's like people say hey how are you doing man i, I i'm really kind of like i'm missing you and this kind of stuff but in reality they're not doing it and they just uh, they, they are not having that miss all right or they're not experiencing that miss but they are doing those stuff just to attract your attention and to show how important you are for them with a hope that they are to be included in this domain that you are establishing so you again with this card you can expect to become more important and more important and more important as the week progresses and finally with the six of wands here leo uh this card as well points that people are going to recognize you that you deserve it as well so that jealousy that is going to be directed to you is not going to be a bad jealousy okay it's going to be like an honorable one it's something that people were jealous but doesn't hold but that that jealousy does not provoke kind of like ill emotions into their heart and the majority of these people are going to be happy for you believe it or not and the last one here it is the guidance that tarot is offering we do have the knights of cups and actually this guidance tells us a couple of things now the first one it is that whatever you do guys all that matters it is what dreams your heart holds and are you following those dreams or are you following someone else's dreams like the queen of wands dreams right so you have to take your time throughout the week as well to di to, to differentiate are the uh, are the goals of the team that you are a part of are your goals or they are just the goals of the supervisor or the leader of the team and they have nothing to do with you and the other thing that the key that the uh, knights of cups here tells us it is that your success is going to be determined of how hard you work all right and that being said nothing is to be gifted to you nothing is going to be given to you on a silver platter but you have to work for every single bit of security monetary success um, relationship reliability and etc on your own so if you work a lot your benefits are going to be great if you slack well obviously nothing is going to happen so i can suggest you just on a final note here leo that this week like I said it is a week without much movement but it is an important one it is because that week is going to be decisive you know with how much wealth you are going to enter into your future and i suggest you to once again a look around yourself and try to secure everything you got so that being said, guys, uh, this was your weekly general tarot reading. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, again, if you are interested into a personal reading with me, all that you have to do is check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website from which you can purchase a, a service of your choice. Uh, and uh, hopefully we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.